What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and this is the Disney Hero Forums. So I was just in the process of editing, and I saw that there was some patch notes, so I really wanted to check this out really, really quick, because I don't have a whole lot of time right now. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, like, subscribe, comment, you guys know the deal. Um, I want to get into this really, really quick. I saw there was, um, I think, Fred? 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 Who the hell is this? The fuck? Another Big Hero 6 character? Uh, this uh, release features Fred Fredrickson from Disney's Big Hero 6 and Vinny Santorini from Disney's Atlantis. Ooh, another Atlantis character. Cool. Uh, plus the August sign-in hero and shop refresh. Oh boy. Alright, so Fred Fredrickson is a frontline tank hero on the red team. Fred will only be available in diamond crates. His white skill, Fred shoots a burst of flame at all nearby enemies, dealing X more true damage initially than true damage per second after that. Oh boy. Um, his green skill, smoke screen, Fred lets out a burst of smoke, removing any freeze effects on all allies. This grants Fred and his allies stacks of hardy and blinds all enemies. Damn, he removes freeze? Whew. His blue skill, Fred lifts up his sign, counters the next basic attack, and deals normal damage to the closest enemy. After he counters, Fred gains reality and armor. Okay, alright, alright. Um, tr this true damage and removing freeze really scares me, not gonna lie. Um, and his purple skill, once per wave, when Fred reaches a percent of his max HP, he lights his sign on fire and removes any freeze effects from himself. For the rest of the wave, Fred cannot be frozen and he heals for a percent of all true damage dealt by himself and allies up to a max. Whoa. His red skill. The initial damage for Fire Breathing Lizard is increased. Which one's Fire Breathing Lizard? His white skill. Okay. The initial damage for Fire Breathing Lizard is increased once per wave. When Fred reaches a percent of his max HP, he cleanses himself and gains energy. So cleanse, that means he removes all debuffs from himself. When Fred uses Sign on Fire, he also removes all freeze effects from his allies. Oh, he can't be frozen. I didn't even see that. After he uses Sign on Fire. Oh, okay. That's cool, actually. After this happens, uh, Fred's allies cannot be frozen. Oh, wow. That is insane. This is a really hard freeze counter. God damn. This dude is like the hardest freeze counter we've ever seen. That's insane. His battle badge, damage over time is applied to enemies. They get He gets a stat buff of max HP and he gets reality per yellow team ally, and then his effect thing when, he, um, when you enhance the battle badge is he goes berserk, and he has a friendship with Gogo -Go and Barley Lightfoot. Um, Gogo's not quite in the game yet, but friendship is there. And Vinny Santorini. Vinny Santorini is a backline damage hero on the yellow team. Vinny will be the signed in hero for August. He's a damage hero, another damage hero. Um, all right, so passively, he does not gain any energy when he takes damage, but gains additional energy when he damages an enemy with his basic attack. Um, and his active is Vinny sets off a TNT explosion across the battlefield, dealing normal damage to all enemies. Um, his green skill, Vinny pulls out a bundle of TNT and throws it at the closest enemy. The TNT explodes after X seconds, dealing normal damage to nearby enemies. Um, his blue skill, Road Flare. Vinny throws a road flare onto the battlefield that lasts X seconds, dealing normal damage per second to nearby enemies and blinding them for the duration of the flare. Alright, so he has damage over time and he blinds um, his... what am I on here? His purple skill. Vinny's basic attacks now deal normal damage to enemies near his initial target. Um, the additional energy gained from boom is increased by a percent when he damages x or more enemies with a single basic attack his red skill um, demolition expert Vinny's armor and reality are increased while his energy bar is more than a percent full Vinny blocks all attack speed increases applied to enemies for the first few seconds of each wave enemies that have attack speed increases blocked in this way are stunned he blocks all attack speed increases applied to enemies for the first few seconds of each wave. Oh, okay, so this is um, kind of a, a speed boost counter. Okay. Sorry, I, I keep like reading it but not actually processing what I'm reading. <laughs> so I keep having to go back and reading it again. Enemies that have attack speed increases blocked in this way are stunned. So, that's cool. Um, his battle badge condition thing is uh, blind is applied to enemies. He gets a basic damage boost. 
and reality per damage roll ally, and then when you enhance the battle badge, he gets energy on each basic attack. And his friendships are with Anger and Mr. Big. Anger, that's interesting. Is he a, is he a villain? I feel like he's a villain. He looks kind of like a villain. Um, ooh, we have Hero Refresh. Normally we'd have a Hero Refresh here, but the Hero Design team has been focused on new heroes. Hero Refreshes will return next month, I assume? Sure. Um, Android... Uh, with the 3.3 update in mid-August, we will increase the required minimum OS for Android devices to 4.4. .4. Google has instructions here for how to check your current OS. Okay, sure. Um, so you need to have a newer phone in order to play starting in the middle of August. Just so you know. Hero improvements and bug fixes. I mean, usually these minimums are really old phones, so like, I think the majority of people are going to have newer phones than 4.4. .4. So, you have to be kind of a boomer to be going all the way back there, I think. Um, Manticore will now appear under the Cleanse filter. Cool. Fairy Godmother will now appear in the, the Cleanse filter. Cool, I brought that up in a video. I was wondering that. <clears throat> Um, Gerald will now appear under the heal team filter. Their skill is not technically a heal over time effect since it's dependent on Gerald being on the rock, not, but isn't guaranteed to heal over time. Other improvements adjusted the hero filter to automatically exclude heroes that are not allowed in the mode. For example, when red team is active in trials, the filter will only include, oh, that's kind of cool actually. That's a good little update. I don't, it doesn't have a ton of uses, but, um, that is kind of cool. Um, we got some bug fixes. Fixed an issue where the trial building could have a notification even when the player had no chances left. Um, I guess with code base, there's always a thing there, but whatever. Um, fixed a rare crash when not equipping a mod. Fixed an issue with hero search where the first tap on the hero would be ignored. Uh, cleaned up the challenge books so they are now showing the correct number of weekly challenges and all the books can be completed. Fixed a display issue with the name of the sheriff city watch token crates new hero locations all right so this is for everybody fred will be in diamond crates quackerjack will now be in elite campaign very cool um finny santorini will be the august sign-in hero and then ron stoppable is going to the vip crates nice esmeralda is going to guild crates uh pocahontas will replace captain hook in the city watch shop russell and kevin will replace mr big and kozlov in the creep surge shop Kronk will replace Ham in the Arena Shop. Shan Yu will replace Basil in the Coliseum Shop. Eeyore will replace Kristoff and Sven in the Heist Shop. And Clawhauser will replace Baloo in the Guild War Shop. Um, Alright, I'm kind of cool with Kronk going to the Arena Shop. And Russell going to the Creep Surge Shop. I'm cool with that because I'm working on the two of them right now. And this is a full update. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, cool. So this dude, Fred Fredrickson, sounds insane. He has true damage, and he's the hardest freeze counter I think we've ever seen. So that is pretty insane. I think he might be a must-have, to be honest. I hate to say it, I think he might be a must-have hero. Or he's going to make it so that freeze is just pushes freeze out of the meta but we shall see. All right, well, I gotta get going, so I'm gonna end this video right here. If you enjoyed this video, even though it is quite short and quick, um, definitely give me a like, subscribe, comment. I would hugely appreciate it. And yeah, that's gonna be it, so um, peace. Three, four, five, four, four, four. How did you go down? Nani? Oh my god.